he matau ho ka kitea. Mā te huarahi ka whāia e te tangata, me tāna whakamahi o nga whea. Growing up Tongan, being the only daughter in my family, the expectation of me to be strong in the Christian faith and at church is huge. It's a very contentious space because even though I have a Muslim husband and my kids are Muslim, I think the fear that people won't accept me or see me as someone they want to speak, you know, and talk about them and, and our progress or the things that don't work for our community. Malolele, my name is Melissa Lama, I'm Tongan. I would say that uh, my role is a community advocate. When I met Melissa, uh, we actually played volleyball together and she done something sneaky and got my number and, <laughs> and then texted me and that's basically how we met. When I met him, we started talking. I could say we were, we were going out, you know, and a, a short time after he converted to Islam. And being young um, and not aware of what Islam was, but only what I saw in the news, I was like, how do you decide to just convert without telling me? <laughs> like, it was something that I should have decided for him as well. But coming to Islam, it was a decision I had to make because I need to be fair, authentic and honest. I didn't want to lose uh, Acme. cry about it because I'm out here saying to people, you know, you be yourself, you be your independent self, yet, you know, I chose to convert on the base of love. I'm grateful that I did because now I know for myself that it was the right decision. This is one of New Zealand's darkest days. What has happened here is an extraordinary and unprecedented act of violence. New Zealand is their home. They should be safe here. So the day of the shooting, my husband and two kids were in Christchurch, and I was away at a gathering in Wellington. The moment I realised that the shooting had been at the mosque, I had thought the worst straight away. I was in the car with my son Issa. We were driving to the mosque and he actually fell asleep. And I didn't want him waking up in the middle of the service disrupting everyone. So I'd done a U-turn and I shot home to my wife's uh, mum's place and I dropped him off. And then by the time I got to Dean's Ave to pull into the mosque, it was all closed off and all the shootings had already happened. The Royal Commission of Inquiry into the Christchurch attacks, um, I was fortunate enough to be asked to be a part of the Muslim Community Reference Group. Um, and I guess our sole purpose was to come together as a Muslim community and uh, give advocacy or voice of the wider New Zealand Muslim community. When you're in the Royal Commission and you hear the different stories, you know, my heart sinks for them, you know, and I always wonder why. Why do I still have my family here? It just encourages me more to ensure the voices of the victims and their families are at the forefront of what we do. Ensuring that whatever recommendations and things that come out of the report, that also my Māori, Tongan, Scottish children, their diversity is safe moving forward in the future. One of the community advocacy works I'll say I'm doing at the moment is the petition we had against armed response squads or armed response trials that the police had brought out after the March 15th attacks in Christchurch. The police have come out and said there's a lot of unconscious bias within the police force. To me, that rings a lot of alarm bells, you know. 
misconduct in regards to treatment of Pacific is real. And when I think of the stories of my elders, the stories of my mum, you know, the things that my mum used to teach me, we would drive down the street in Christchurch, even though we had a seatbelt on, was don't look at the police, even though they're driving past. And every time we'll just have a little geese, you're like, yo, you know? And I still wonder, why does she do that? There has to be better approaches when it comes to policing and safety and what that looks like. And I'm grateful that we have them around. I do think it's important to also recognise the other aspect of why communities need to be at the forefront of strengthening um, our safety as opposed to giving the government or the authority to people in uniform. So we're at the University of Otago Dunedin campus. Apparently I'm a full-time student here, um, studying Bachelor of Arts, majoring in politics. At the moment I've got two more papers left for my undergrad, and then I move into my postgrad with the MBA, so that's a Masters of Business and Administration. So I get asked a lot, why do I study politics when I'm already working in government in the public sector? Um, and for me, I always believe that uh, it's really important to have the theory behind a lot of the practical sides of the work. I guess I do love to understand the theory behind why people in power make the decisions they do. Got pregnant at 18, had my first son, Amuni, um, and uh, it was tough. I work full-time, study full-time. Um, I don't recommend it. But because we did things quite young, this is the situation we're in. And to be honest, I'm, I'm probably not your usual hands-on mother. And my love for my kids is huge, but I do travel a lot. A lot of my work does take a lot of mental and emotional capacity. So the main speakers will be MJ, Kaufusi, Balanite, and then us introducing ourselves. While she's away, all of the day-to-day -day stuff that we do doesn't stop. I work and study simultaneously, and my motivation behind that is to be able to make more money to ease the, the stress on our family, because I believe her time is extremely valuable to the community that she engages with. Sita drafted up an awesome email to kind of put them in that mindset and that you have a duty to be of support for our students. I think as a Pacific woman, as a person of colour in this country, if you speak outside or you bring something that's different to what's currently happening or known to people, they tend to call you radical or something like that, but actually it's just about changing that mentality and that behaviour that they've been so used to. Um, and actually us saying, well, actually that doesn't work anymore. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.